Now we're going to proceed to doing something even more complicated with our sentence. We've looked at sentences with the basic core of subject and verb and the direct object. What we're going to look at now is something called the subject complement. This is something that's going to reflect on the subject of the sentence in some way. It's either going to be renaming or it's going to modify the subject of the sentence. So, what we're looking at then is sentences where we're doing something with the subject, something more than just having the subject doing the verb. So, for example, I might have a sentence, you are a humane woman. So, we'll go back to our basic framework and see what we have. The first thing that we have is our subject, you. Then we have our verb. In this case, it's not an action verb. It's a state of being verb, also known as a linking verb, which is are. Now, what are we going to do with this piece here, a humane woman? It's not really a direct object because we're not really uh, doing anything to it. What it is, is it's something that's renaming our subject. It's going to go on the main line of the sentence, but you're going to separate it with an angled line like that. And you'll see how the angle is tilted toward the subject of the sentence. That is how you tell this is going to apply to the subject. And in this case, we're renaming the subject. We have our uh, complement, subject complement is woman. And then, as usual, we have some other modifiers dangling off here. We have a humane woman. So, remember, when we have this line and it's tilted back toward the subject, it's referring to the subject. In this particular case, it's renaming the subject. Or we may have a subject complement that modifies the subject. Um, for example, resistance is futile. What we have here then is we have a description of the resistance. And so this is going to also be a subject complement referring back to the subject. In this case, this is fairly simple to draw. We have our subject, resistance. We have our verb, in this case it's just is. Very, very simple. And once again, we have a subject complement. So we're going to have our line tilted back toward the subject, and then we have um, the adjective describing resistance, which is futile. So, there's your key. If you're renaming the subject, or if you're modifying the subject, that is, describing it, you use that line that tilts back toward the subject, and that gives you the clue. That's what it is.